Welcome to The Smoking Area, where we deep dive into life's highs and lows. I'm Benji, your host, ready to bring you candid conversations, a listening ear, and a splash of late night excitement. Get ready to explore unfiltered discussions. Let's step into The Smoking Area. I know a lovely Swedish girl who gave me permission to speak on this. And she has a friend who confided in her. Basically, her partner went to have a massage and the massage hindered. Hindered? The massage hindered. (laughs) Right, so this uh, rock star Swede told me that her close friend and confidant, Um, their partner had been for a massage and got wanked off. And when... when the girlfriend was when the girlfriend was mortified and like, are you fucking joking? Are you even staying this right now? Are you sure that you're actually speaking what you've just spoke to me? Like, what the fuck? Well, it's just a massage and it's part of the service I pay for. It's just part of the massage. So I want to ask you in the dilemma, what advice have we given this person? Because I don't know where I oh, stand. Oh no, bitch! He actually paid, so he knew it was happening. Well. He must do. He must have known because he goes for massages quite <gasps> often. So he must have known. And yeah, uh, he got wanked off at the end of the massage. Happy ending included. Full service. The full body service. Bitch. I've seen cars that are trekked with less care in an MOT. Like, Ooh. he got really serviced. Oh, no. They cleaned his pipe. If he didn't know, because the, the, there is times, uh, unless it's just important, that I feel like men kind of, it, it like kind of happens. So you're like, if my partner came out and like, I've just come for a very nice massage, and you never guess what, she started trying to wind me off, I'd be like, that's fucking hilarious. And I'd laugh about it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking pay for it. Yeah, like, so she tried to wind me off, I'm not going there again, and he was on it, I'd be like, oh, wow, well, yeah, well, I'm wanking you off, because I'm your missus, or I'm your fella, you know what I mean? You don't know. But no, he, and, and he said, he had a defense to this, well, in my previous relationship, I always paid for this service, and it wasn't a problem. Because I'm paying for it. It's just like getting... Uh, well, then why did that relationship end, look, love? Well, there you go, yeah. Why did that there you end? Go. Not saying that that's thing, but yeah. you clearly weren't happy with them, so don't matter if it, they were all right with it or not. You paid for a service, a sexual service, prostitution, dumb. Okay, so so do you see, like, um, so say, for example, we book a massage, mm-hmm. me and you, you come over to mall, we've got, I'm like, oh, babe, guess what I've got? Oh, it's a gorgeous massage and it was really cheap too cheap to be true because we might get fingered and wanked off by the masseuse would you lay there and take it knowing that you had a partner or would you be like get the fuck off me this is prostitution yeah. what what's your stick on it all uh, before a single probably i did in a while so take as many fingers up as you want me love but if i was in a relationship <laughs> if i was in a relationship no it was cheating in my eyes that's cheating anything sexual and anything like you enjoy that turn... Not more, no, sorry, that's wrong. I didn't mean that. A lot of things can turn you on. But if you are going to have a sexual release from someone else that's not your partner, cheating. Yes. Yes. 100% agree with you. And that's very rare because normally I check you on things. <laughs> if you've not heard me check it, you can go and listen to season one. It's available <laughs> on Apple Podcasts. It's available on Spotify. It's on Google Podcasts, Amazon Music. <laughs> Just Google the Swerking Area Podcast. You might see some imitations, but we're the original one because we're the safe space you go going now out. We're the place you go to put the world to rights. And we're not professionals, but we've been for a lot of shit. And on that shit, I would say, get your stuff leave. and leave. I'd be like, to the left, to the left, everything oh, you own best. in a box, to the left. Uh, no, I'm done. I'm done and dusted, kippers and custard. <laughs> that is not a perf situation. If you want to go and get mas- masseused all over and tossed off, do it in your own time, but not when you're with someone that is disgusting, it's cheating. Regardless whether you threw them an extra tenner, so you could spuff all over your disgusting body while you had a little towel wrapped around you that oh. it, they pulled off. I ain't standing for it, and I would not accept you back in my house had you done yeah. that to me. But, like, if you like that, if that's, like, say, like, some sort of fetish or some sort of turn-on, either go get a massage and let your missus wank you off or whatever partner. Yes! yes. get them to do a massage and then wank like, you I'm, off. I, I'm, all, I'm all about, I'm all about forgiving people for their thoughts so like 
You can be turned on multiple times a day by things that you see. There are attractive people everywhere. And as soon as we get with someone and we commit to someone, that's where monogamy comes into play. Like, monogamy is that you don't act upon it, but you can feel it. And you you have to be forgiveful. So, like, if, if I had a partner who was looking at porn, I'd be like, you do you, Bill. You've not hurt me. You've not ruined our intimacy. You've just done a physical need that your body needs uh-huh. to do. And I might have been tired. I might have not been in the mood. I might have been a moody bitch that day with my ADHD. I might have been singing Mariah Carey in the shower and kicking uh-huh. off and slamming things around in the kitchen. Whereas the next day, I might want to ride you till the cows come uh-huh. home. Till the ca- the cows come and knock on the front door and ask for their Cravendale back because I've milked <laughs> and spoofed that much. Do you know what I mean? It could it could be one of those cities. However, I don't believe that you should really be going to pay for it and then be able, be able to go home with a clear conscience. It's cheating. Cheating's cheating. Get turned on by whatever you see in the day, but go home and penetrate your partner instead. Like, you, energy is energy and attraction mm-hmm. is attraction. Save it up. Save it up. Don't act on an urge. And if you act on an urge and let in a masseuse wank you off, you're a cheat and you deserve to have your stuff outside the front door and yes, never come back. agree. If that's what your relationship is set on, there is open relationships, and obviously his ex partner del- was that. Yeah, with yeah. It. But if you've built this a relationship and that's cheating, mm-hmm. it's cheating. Yeah, like she's clearly upset about because she's going to a Swedish yeah, friends to talk exactly. about it. It's clearly hurt her feelings, and I think no, stop. Once two year olds are cheating, just... you can't forgive him because he'll just go and do it again. So from me, Benji, I want to say, love you, bye. I'm Faye. Love you. Bye. Tell listen number seven to go follow us on TikTok, Instagram. Oh my Tell goodness, them to do all those guys, things. Guys, we love you so much. Please follow us on all our social medias. If you haven't, go watch season one. Well, listen to season and one. And take part. Yes. Comment on whatever. Comment then, why. And, and, and if you, like, a lot, a lot of the dilemmas, they're not confident enough to put it in public. Send us that DM. Yeah. If you have a dilemma that you want us to debrief, in any part of this, please do it. And we cannot wait to see you again next week.